you putting your legs up like that is really annoying. <laughs> For you. <laughs> For that, mom. Look, look yeah. at Cal's, Facebook, Cal's, mom. Cal's Facebook, thing mom. right now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> shit. Yo, you need to work on your framing power. The frame has been <laughs> saying all, been saying all season. Been rattled, 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 rattled. <laughs> Maraca. You know? You like that, by the way. I'll be starting to do that in, yeah. in WhatsApp. You Somebody know, we have a little rattled. Mexican festival there. Can it's, I just remind you who designed the set? Chip. Me. Thank you. <laughs> Can you put that down? You, you you have a weird tendency recently. You start to like make noises. ADOism. I just tried to combine the word ADHD and autism together. That's what I got. Put that down. No, I when I've got things that are fidgety near me, I like to fidget with them. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, yeah, I saw something on Facebook. Crazy thing I want to speak about. But anyway, welcome back to the podcast episode, whatever. Um, <laughs> fucking Facebook Marketplace, yeah? Apparently, you can go on there and people sell plates of food. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'm not, sh- I'm fucking serious. I swear to God. Right. So I've seen somebody. Proddy, can you get this up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Explain it to me then. Right. Proddy, type in on Twitter. Um, something like fucking dinosaurs or wings, dinosaur wings, right? Just type that in. <laughs> type that in. Um, and put it on the screen. Yeah, put it on the bring it up on the screen. Anyway, this guy's gone on Facebook Marketplace and he's obviously bought a meal for fifteen dollars. Um and what he's been given by the guy is a bunch of turkey dinosaurs that are like coated in wing sauce. Yeah. And I'm like, why what what's he on about? He's like reported this guy, just bought a plate of food on Facebook and this is what I got. I'm like, why what's he on about? Why would you do that why would you buy a plate of thing and then i go into the comments and everyone's like yeah like you do you don't understand like some of the best munch come- <laughs> here, no here it is here it is don't buy anything from this guy he was selling boneless wings and a drink and this is what i got charged me 15 dollars up front i tried getting a refund and he blocked me and said take me to judge judy <laughs> <laughs> i just want a drink there's the guy's Facebook page. Stephen and, yeah. Katz. And people are like, oh, anyone that buys food off Facebook, Marketplace deserves this or whatever, all this kind of shit. <laughs> and then you got other people in the reply saying, nah, but you don't get it. Some of the best plates come from Facebook Marketplace. So they just, it's a genuine real thing. And it's like, what? Yeah, small business this. owners. Yeah, like, I'm fucking baffled. This is a new world to me. But I'm gonna go I'm on there. I'm never buying food nah, off Facebook. This, if that happens to me, Chip, I've like, just you put need to you have on a word with me. To a second channel video idea. Because this is a fucking this heater. Is a this, this is, is a the fucking main channel heater. if it's done right. This is so good. Like, you can go out there, pick up your little fucking whatever. I'm going to go buy a lasagna tonight. Elevate that idea. Set up a restaurant with just Facebook Marketplace dishes. There you Fuck go. That, Very that, Josh that, Peters. That bangs, that. Yeah, that, Very that, Max that does genuine bank. But um, yeah, anyway, it's fucking that's a new thing that I've just found out. Shout out to you, man. But to be fair, like you'd think, right, 15, you know what? Fuck, it's going to be cheap. That's not even that cheap. For a Facebook You're paying marketplace, premium numbers. For a Facebook marketplace meal, right? You're not a even f- getting like a restaurant experience with But this. I will say one thing. Essentially what you're doing is you're just getting homemade food. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It still kind of feels like it's coming from a restaurant, but it's not. It's just someone... It's still delivery gets. food though. Yeah. But unless you pick it up, I guess. The one thing I would say though, at least in restaurants, they have like health and safety. God knows what some of these people's homes yeah. are looking like. Yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? But apparently, like, people are doing it on TikTok Live and shit, so you can get an insight into your food being made. <laughs> so, you- oh. oh, my God, by the way, he's actually just whacked his tooth there. Oh, my God. Oh, that's made Now you're shiver. good, you're good. Fucking hell. Oh, you got so excited. <laughs> just oh. fucking headbutted the mic. <laughs> <laughs> well, they knocked my fucking tooth out. <laughs> oh, that, you've been flashbanged. I can tell your, <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> he just chinned himself that's with the, the mic. the first time that's ever happened in 190 ish eps. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, I have days there, I kid. Um, yeah, so fuck it. Facebook Marketplace dinner. I'm spot. thinking like to cop one tonight. Do it. Or I'm thinking get Sabina on that. Be like, yo, start dishing these out, love. Start selling them on Facebook Marketplace. But that's essentially how Deliveroo came about anyway. Like this is just all gone full circle. Now people are just cooking up dishes. Eventually they're going to get a driver in. Next thing you know, the Liverpool fucking, we're up. The Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, just a fucking reboot. Deliver who? All right, guys. And of course, if you haven't already checked out Fellas Loaded, we've got a start. <sighs> a what? 
What? What? We've got a brand new video coming out on the weekend, or it's already out, but it was a treasure hunt around London, something we've never done before, and it was actually fucking banging. It was sick. It was like a murder mystery type of thing, Sherlock Holmes theme. It was so, it was so, so good. Today, we will follow in the footsteps of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes and take to the streets of London to discover the truth of a mysterious murder. This is Dr. John H. Watson. <gasps> oh, that Donnie from Sherlock. That's what this whole thing's about, mate. We will receive cryptic clues which will lead us to solving the case. Shut up! I've always wanted to do this. What? Grass to the police about our boy Moriarty. <laughs> For years I was helping my mother with my uncle. We've also got, of course, as always, every single Monday, the pod goes out ad free. And then on top of that, every other week we do a bonus app. So this week we're dropping the bonus app, me and Chip. So if you, uh, we see your comments saying, love the solo apps, love the solo apps. So we just decided we'd give you more of those over on Fellas Loaded. Check it out. And uh, yeah, there'll be a link in the description. You guys can check out Fellas Loaded. Much love, guys. We'll Peace. You over there. Bye bye. Uh, right, what we got on the menu for today, prods? What's happening? What's been happening yeah, in the what's world? What's happening in the world at the moment? Because I ain't fucking got a clue. By the way, if you're worried about a chip tooth, give me a smile. Move your tongue. No, it ain't chips. You're fine. Yeah, well, there's another Boeing crash, wasn't there? Oh yeah. my God. I I've, hate I, how many times have you I been telling you lot? Enough. Let, let me tell you something. Yeah. Stop flying on Boeing planes. It's Just hard. Just get a private jet instead, all right, oh, guys? Right. Okay, you know what? I can't do that. He was that Cal was called out on the Deji pod for being a bit tone deaf about the oh, private jet. Oh, for fuck's jet. sake, again? <laughs> yeah, everyone was on to you and Deji. Why? Saying you were tone deaf about the private jet. What? I literally just said the, what the price <laughs> of you getting only, a private you jet You only fly private. Stop touching the fucking thing, <laughs> you, bro. You only fly <laughs> private now, don't you? I only fly private. That's the thing. I can't afford that. So I have to go on these Boeings. You but know what I, that means, yeah? You know you know why you can't afford it? It's because you don't work hard. I, I You're do. You're not like me. But I spend my money on like the On dumb Facebook shit. Marketplace. Facebook meals. Marketplace dinners, bro. I can't, like, can I get a lasagna or can I get a private jet? I know what I'm fucking choosing. Anyway, I'm not, I, I don't like flying anymore. There's so many, it's, this thing is, this this propaganda wheel that's going around about Boeing. It's not even propaganda, it's just real. It's fucking my head up. Every time yeah. I get on a plane now, I'm more scared than ever. It's, let me tell you what recently happened, what this, another fucking Boeing crash, albeit it is not necessarily Boeing's fault, at least the initial thing is, that it supposedly it has come from turbulence and it was a Singapore Airlines flight, which by the way, Singapore Airlines is one of the best airlines in the mm. world. London, like they got an London, unbelie- to, London to Singapore, by the way. Popular route. Very, so like, this is no, this is no little fucking, you know, sometimes I'm finding out new names like Lion Air. Like you're trying to tell me that's the name of a real aircraft. Anyways, um, yeah, they were making that flight over there. There was 211 passengers and 18 crew on board. Um, And then when they were at cruising altitude around 37,000 feet, they had like insane turbulence, right? Mm. Um, And I believe there were 30 people injured and actually one person died. Yeah, like a 70 something year old man, right? But he had actually died from a heart attack from I the thought whole he didn't have event. his did he not have his seatbelt on? No, that's what people were like, that's how a lot of those injuries would have happened. Yeah. Is without no, seatbelts. No seat yeah. Because there was like blood on the ceiling of the right. aisles. Well, yeah, because guy, if yeah. it drops like that, you're just hitting the roof. That's it. You're in the fuck you're you are the luggage. You're up there, man. You are the luggage. <laughs> yeah. The Isn't thing is, the people below. were saying that uh, actually there's cabin. something a little bit fishy about this because obviously you do get severe turbulence and all all of that jazz but they were looking at some of the data and i think this is why there's actually going to be a much bigger investigation into this and what happened because they dropped like seven thousand feet yeah is that that's not normal that is not normal because that's like even in even in like some crazy turbulence and usually they would be able to detect that level of turbulence ahead yep and so for them to just like, bowl, they just went balls deep and, and went through this seems pretty nuts. So I don't want to make too many judgment. And I'm also don't want to get killed by Boeing because I know they kill people that talk badly against them. So you just I'm going to wait for the investigation. Remember Cal, you are out. not suicidal. I am not suicidal. Chip. Chip is. No. So if you're going to kill one of us, it's easy to go after Chip <laughs> because I, I can, I'll i help you out with the story. We could come up with something good. I don't even rate Airbus, you know, but guys. Yeah. Oh, I don't even rate them like that. Boeing, you know. <laughs> Love Boeing. I saw a comment on one of the things and it was like, oh, here come the Airbus fans. <laughs> <laughs> like they got taken sides like it's in a fucking away day. <laughs> that is, Airbus, but yeah, look, Airbus I'm telling Walters. you, 
flying is sketchy now. This is a video of inside the aircraft when it um when it's they like landed. It's Project X, but so this was a- of the aircraft. Um, that lo- that is mental. Place is done up. Wait, here you go. You can see the blood short that there. That's probably where I'd be sat right there in economy. You won't be in these kind of bits. You're not. Well, you're not one of us. Randy, Randy's part of your your economy guy. He's saying he's never spending money on a business class flight again. I respect that. To be honest, because he just says it's a bump. Yeah, it is. It is crazy. Brody, you ever flown business? I've never flown anything above premium economy. And oh, I was on the way back from Mexico when I won rocks, paper, scissors. <laughs> what with chips? Like an extra 200 quid, weren't it? <laughs> no, it was 100. 100 quid. Um, and I still made him play for it. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. You George janko me, mate. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Shit. Whoa. Whoa. Bringing up some pretty Whoa. intense Controversial. That, um, that situation's a bit... <laughs> I don't know. I, I think George might have had to firm a bit of an L on it, honestly. He kind of fucked it a little bit because there was just a lot of what appears to be misinformation that George was saying and Logan sort of um, hit yes, back so. with, yeah. with receipts and that's always a bit of a killer. And then the problem is um, what should, what is, in my opinion is always the biggest L is when somebody goes, all right, man, just come on my pod and let's rock this out. Is that what he said after? And that's what he does. Yeah. And it's just, they're like, mate, is this really one just big play for a bunch of clout to get Logan to come on your podcast? Or, you know, why don't, okay, why don't you go back on impulsive then and do it on there? I don't know. It just seemed, yeah, it just seemed a bit so max. The, the part of the, the story that I think where George, I feel like George sort of went wrong was he gave a lot of information out on that podcast that Logan could easily disprove, like, yeah. you know, the financials and things like that, which George said he didn't want to sort of talk about money, but then gave Logan the room to literally just prove the amount of money that he's paid yeah. him. But I think the one thing I understand from George's point of view that he said, he felt that he was done a disservice by the way they edited the Bobby Lee episode. Did you see yeah. that? Chip? No. See, if, if that's like the main thing though, the Bobby Lee episode where he was, um, like it was just weird between those two and whatever else went on. And if he had just sort of focused on that and said, look, that whole thing right there was the reason I left. Obviously they had a few bits about some of the stuff Logan had said about his, uh, like his beliefs and stuff like that. Which Logan apologized Which Logan for. already yeah. apologized for. So whatever, but it could be the combination of that and the bubbly thing. And if he just come out and said, yep, yeah, those were the two reasons why I left. Didn't feel comfortable on there. Didn't feel as though you know, my values were respected. So that's why I went and did my own thing. Mm. Cool. Leave it. But I just feel like this has been dragged on for so long. Like, mm. I swear he left that pod like over a year ago now. And he gets really good views on his, in his own Yeah, ride. and he's doing his own yeah. thing. Yeah, so yeah, I just his, don't understand this, podcast, this whole it, thing. He's got well, two mil it? subs. I saw it. Yeah, I went yeah. on there. Had a look. The, the only uh, thing I think, like, I don't understand how he can't see the negative side of working with a competitor, the, the Celsius stuff. Yeah. You see all of that. So Celsius is um, an energy drink. Yeah, it's kind of like a competitor to Prime. Is that Jake Paul's one? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I think up. Jake Paul oh, was up. sponsored by them as well, but I don't okay. think. Okay. So yeah, though, if that was the case, then okay, that's a bit strange. But I also understand Logan's point where he's using Logan's name to funnel viewers into his podcast. Yeah. And then obviously it being sponsored by a competitor isn't the I'm best. I'm trying to think, look. right? In my case, but I, let, they, let's but, say, but let's say Lucas Aid came to us. Yeah. yeah. And we're like... Oh, uh, we want to sponsor the pod. I'm trying to think. Uh, after I, I realized that, I was like, you know what? I should probably, if that happens, go to JJ and be like, yo, match it. I would prefer, is there any chance you can match that? But I think JJ would turn around and be like, I ain't fucking paying you. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I can yeah. the piece. Yeah, what is he the He might do, though? but I don't know if he would do that. Wait, so the, the but whole I should thing probably was George have. left Impulsive and then a bit after he wanted to do a Celsius brand deal? No, he was still at yeah. Impulsive. Uh, started okay. his oh. own podcast whilst he was at Impulsive, um, but tensions were a bit high. Celsius contacted him to, to sponsor his show. Yeah. He then sort of said he wanted to kind of do a thing ringing Logan to tell him he had this brand deal. Logan caught wind of it made calls to Celsius or so, he made calls no. to basically dictate his show almost the brand. No, but if you read well. the text, it doesn't really read like that though as much. It just kind of reads like, Hey man, I wish you would have come to me with this. At least yeah. give me the chance to sponsor it. I don't know. Anyways, it, it, it did make me think like, Oh shit, if we do get a drink, say, I'm deaf because I'd rather be sponsored by prime. Yeah. I'll give sick. a shit. I'll tell you whatever money comes my way. I love that from <laughs> you, bro. Wait, what do you say? 
Um, if JJ didn't, he, he, he's, if he didn't he's, like, he's if putting, he didn't come to me, putting coins in his if, satchel. If he didn't come to me to put, top my satchel up, then I'll let anyone <laughs> top it up. I like that. Actually, that man. I, I don't need to go to him to match it. You should have thought about me in the first place. Yeah, you know Prime what? I don't want me on there anyway. No, nah, no, nah, they do because you give off that crackhead energy. And he's prime for crackheads. Is that what you're saying, bro? I would say so. <laughs> I would say if you want to have the energy that Chip has. That's true. If you want to be living life and be this chill. <laughs> Chill. Then drink prime. Wait, prime. you're just doing free promo now. We're not even getting paid. Fuck it, man. Drink prime. Um, I don't do that for many people, by the way. Do you drink prime on your half marathon? I drink prime in my Levi jeans, which are the best jeans around. <laughs> you're not even paid by Levi jeans either, bro. That's that's crazy. I know. That's what right. what, what brand are those th- jeans? What brand are those jeans? Um <laughs> Oh, sorry. They're not Levi's. They represent one of the best clothing brands around. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. And I'm just going to take a picture of them on my iPhone. The only phone that I would recommend in the world. <laughs> uh, I should probably, take my, should probably take my new balance shoes off the table. <laughs> so comfy though. <laughs> Definitely would recommend them. Wait, stop, stop. What's your favorite coffee? Because I only drink black sheep. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Available all around the country. Not true. No, not true. This isn't. That's a lot. I actually have 30,000 black sheep points I use through their loyalty program, which is not very. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm not getting paid it's enough. It's extremely rewarding. <laughs> Fuck it. Anyway, tonight. Yeah, I'm going to go home. No, you're not. You're, nice you're going to go to. We're going to the darts tonight. Yeah, but after the darts, I'll be enjoying a nice pizza from Pizza Hut. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've just bought on so many fucking brands for free. <laughs> go on like treat a little brand summer be nah, nice you know, man, you know the way I'm Fuck protective it. about my so bag so first day firsty first day <laughs> we on the floor for it man give it give me some no. if, you, if you had to promote one brand for free who would you happily if they came to you they're like oh it just sorts out who, what kind of brand would you do is there any in the world? Starbucks. No, I'm joking. No, <laughs> yo, 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 no, I'm joking. I just said that just get to get a Russell. Was funny there. Nah, just I to get a Russell. That that was funny. Because you should have just you should have just kept a straight face. It. Nah, I could imagine the comment section, bro. Oh uh, like yeah, they, it'll be a long day. Um, you did a half marathon recently. Yes, I did. You don't have to congratulate me. Or I wasn't going. To. <laughs> I'm the congratulation. You, you are on chip. I think you DM me and I haven't read it. <laughs> What do you mean you haven't read it? Of course you've read it. <laughs> no, legit haven't opened your message. No, I think... Look he... at that, Calfreezy, unopened. <laughs> I don't open my DMs off. Like, look at that. I've got Reeve. Lol, Everybody. Theo. Did you have Freezy. a good time? Did you enjoy doing it? It was class. You you messaged me saying, not proud, not impressed, but I am happy for you. <laughs> there you go. That's, That's good. a nice message, to be fair. Yeah. I'll take that. Whereas... Um, you, you smashed you, it, though. You did a great job. I did. I did. I actually really enjoyed it. I... Did better than I thought I was going to do. What time? Uh, I got 205, 40 something. Yeah. So, which is pretty good. And I think my chip time was about 40 seconds. So it's a 206 something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, got my medal hung up in the gaff. <laughs> Need to no, be happy didn't. about that. Now I've got it hung around my book more. I've got so it. added it to the many medals that you There's just had. many medals there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, it was good. What was good about it? it? Was, you know what? I feel, I don't feel bad for you, but you did yours it's such a shit event that you did. I, I know. No, no, no. Don't get I, it twisted. I knew I, every lap I've that I did been, mine run. I knew. I'd never been to half marathon. When I rocked up to yours, I was like, ah, five to a, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? You essentially did the loop one, right? At Olympic Park. And there was 14, no fucking 14 loops. no one there. Nobody there. If Knack had finished that, yeah. everything about it was just like boring, right? It was just mundane and it was cold and shit. This one <clears throat> was Hackney Half and it, so I went, so a couple of days before I went to go pick up my bib number and you have to go to Hackney Marshes and it was essentially like a festival, probably even though you, you also went, it's essentially a festival. You go there, they've got all these stores and it's laid out exactly like a music festival and it's so many people there, so much shit going on. Mm. People just having a day out there. Now you were telling me, I tell me the thing that like you rocked up and there's people like sprinting about. Yeah, there's people sprinting about. <laughs> like people are- The day before. People have got di- their bibs on in, in, in the, the day festival. before. Yeah, and <laughs> these, you know, it's so funny. These guys were like, let's go to runner. And they're running to the runner tent, but they're all like in a group running. <laughs> but just in the middle <laughs> with the bibs That's on. That's a proddy type of Bibs on, shit. fucking vapor flies. I'm like, this is mental. Was this I'm, the day before? This yeah. was on the day. Oh. 
No, no, the day before, mate. I'm thinking, what? The race in. But you know, tomorrow. there was like mini races and stuff on the day before. There was like a 5K and they did like track races and stuff. Inside the... In the festival village thing. Okay, but yeah. I did see people just running, up, genuinely running. Just what, running on the grass? Between stalls. <laughs> yeah, That's running between mental. stalls, like they were warming up or some shit. And then, but yeah, it was funny, man. People proper getting into it. Everyone got like maximum clobber on. People buying yeah. shoes in the festival to wear for the next day. Like they had a hawker tent and stuff, which was sick because what one did you wear? They had a proper um, store. I wore, I bought some vapor flies on the week and they didn't fit me. I took them out for a test run, they didn't fit. I've been wearing, this is crazy by the way. I've been wearing my whole life size 8.5. I go into a shop, guy measures my feet and he goes, You're size 9.5. Why are you, why are you wearing <laughs> such small feet? Uh, small shoes and I'm like damn like I'm wearing Your whole one life. full size it's too small for my whole but life but don't you have one I got foot home. bigger than the other yeah so one's nine one's 9.5 oh, there's yeah. no 8.5 even inside I don't know why I've been doing that somebody told me 8.5 maybe your toes have been like in a <laughs> yeah, jail cell the yeah whole time. mate they were fucked when I tried them out so I ran it in a in a pair of like uh, old vapor flies or some shit and oh you didn't even use the hocker ones is nah, that what you run it? Nah, nah. I just run in Nike trainers. Oh, okay. Yeah, or Invincibles. Yeah. But yeah, the vibe is fucking sick. So on the day, I get I get there. I'm a bit nervous. I go for a poo. I go for two poos, actually. <laughs> she uh, was massive for a poo, by the yo, way. Yo, by the way, thanks. Shout out to Polly's missus because I was going to... I had like a little bit of a poo feeling inside me and I was like, damn, toilet queue looks like an hour long. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to run. And... Is he comes to me and goes, nah, fuck it. You need to uh, go do it. It's only 15 minutes. So I go do it. We're late for the race. We're going to, we are last to start the race. Oh, Cause I, cause I'm <laughs> needing the poo. <laughs> yeah. I go do it. It was all good. Get it out. You know, when you're squeezing it out and it's just stuck in there and shit. It's just great. Oh. <laughs> and the toilet's nah, nasty. Nasty piece. Yeah, you of get toilet, hey, toilet mate, paper. Think of all them toilets here. Yeah? Everyone's just shitting. But I, yeah. yeah, I had toilet paper. It was actually, I got a decent one, it was, yeah. but it was still nasty. I was shitting on someone else's shit. Oh, yeah. That's Everyone. like festival, festival yeah, talk. Yeah, well, yeah, because that's literally what it was. Then we get to the start line. It was me, Theo, Reeve, Lewis. Yeah. Um, Izzy started before us, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Izzy started, and Mitch and all them went off. We start, Theo and Reeve just fucked right off, just bolted away, like <laughs> four minute 30 pace off the dome. I was like, fuck that. I saw me and Lewis were going at 6.30 and he kept up with me for ages. Really? Every now and then Lewis would drop back and go out and he'd slow down. And I was like, fine. And then he would do this thing where maybe like five kilometers in, yeah. he just runs past me, pretends not to notice me and he's just filming like this. <laughs> <laughs> as if he's no way he's trying to get he, a clip of you as, as, if he, you as if he's dusting me <laughs> and he'll be he'll run past me and we go are oh, you right <laughs> that's class <laughs> but it was so funny he did keep up with me for maybe like nine kilometers and then he, pretty good half yeah or whatever and then he because he back. was doing it on minimal training yeah he did it on literally in women's no shoes tra no training women's shoes and no gels Clothes, no, he 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 gel, yeah. clothes, clothes he'd found in Lost and Found. Mate, he looked like a tramp, which is it's just Lewis though. But <laughs> it, mate, I mean, mate, what he just he proper just rocked up and was like, Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Fair enough. And he did a sick time to be fair. No, he didn't. Well, considering like Yeah, it was alright. Yeah, he did like two fourteen. I think he was expecting like two thirty. I'm surprised that he actually I surprised completed it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I didn't think he was gonna I got a question for you then. Are you going to try a marathon since you had a good time? I will try. I will. I will try one. Yeah. Ooh, uh, bro. Like, you got to give him the yeah. pointers, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll do that next year. Maybe. Um, or maybe, or maybe like this year, but like a winter one. Maybe a November a little, job. Little <laughs> you don't want a winter one. Not a winter one. No, but you could go abroad and do it. I want yeah, a little true, bit true. of a cooler one. Cause that one was fucking. We've got, there's Valencia first of December. Ooh, there you go. And, and what weather would that be? But it's it's nice because when you it will be nice over there. It'd be like twenty degrees, bit bit cooler. Yeah, because this one was so a fucking hot day of the year. Yeah, it was so far. Yeah, yeah but obviously. We were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like we're we're, we're gonna be getting some thirty warm, pluses bro. this year. Yeah, trust warm. me on that. Apparently, did you see many people like sort yeah, of like there's so KO'd. many people, so many people like unconscious on the side of the road and shit. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'd run past guys, skill issue. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, but <laughs> skill issue. He's he's emoting on top of them. 
<laughs> as you're passed out on the side. It was mad though. But they've got um, the water stations and stuff, which are all pretty good. Like loads yeah. of volunteers. So you stop. I mean, imagine, did you have that on yours? Like water stops. <laughs> you know, nah, there, there was one bit that you could there was sometimes cups of water there you'd have to get them first though. yeah um, there was that uh, energy drinks they're handing out the whole shit it was, okay. it was pretty good so, and then afterwards you went on on the piss or were yeah, you knackered uh, knackered but Hackney was flying everywhere was I bet busy. it was bouncing was good. busy Victoria everywhere. Park everything really. was really busy so it was a good vibe um, but yeah the the people on the side of the of this particular half marathon make it a lot easier because you have so did, much going did you on. you have fans saying he, what's up, Chip? Yeah, lo- there was a lot. There was a, a lot, lot of fans. Oh, yeah, yeah go on, Chip. And then yeah. just the volunteers anyway, read your top anyway and shout your name. Oh, really? That's quite Yeah, nice. which is quite nice. But it's good. I was at Runner's Need, right? Which is a shop for running trainers. And it comes up on the machine. Do you want to donate 25p to like some charity? Uh-huh. I click yes. What's How the point? This? No, 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 no. I'm with Chip on this. Why is no one clapping? I was in McDonald's. It said, would you like to round up? I'll fucking round up every time. Come on, brother. Don't listen to this East yeah. is West type Donny. <laughs> what was that? What? When what? you go in East, you go in West? Yo, the comments, oh. I never seen it. I never yeah, seen you cookery. get cut that hard. Cookery. That was crazy. But they don't know you was on a wind up, innit? Of course, bro. I'm it's always like on Mar- a wind up. It was on a Maradona thing, Crystal Palace. What's this? You know, when he said oh, Maradona yeah. couldn't get into Crystal Palace. That was, that's just recently made. Have you not made seen the comments take? on the last pod? Yeah. No, I don't read them. The Joe Soak pod, when Proddy was like, oh, eventually you go so far east, you're going west. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that thing. Yeah. yeah. He's been cooked alive. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, because I was getting really worked up about that. <laughs> so I'm glad. I still don't it. know if you were being serious or not. <laughs> no, he was. He was. I think at the nah, time, that it nah, was one bro. of those where <laughs> think, he said it and he's gone, fuck. fuck. I think a lot, <laughs> of, I'm just, I'm I think what a lot of people forget is my job here is to, no, um, it's not to provoke punishment. conversation <laughs> and to make sure we are delving into the depths of all interesting topics that we I can. I like it. So there needs to be yeah. someone to stoke a fire. And if you guys are all agreeing with the same thing, mm. I need to provide a That's different true. opinion. That's no, true. No smoke without flames, pal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the saying. No fire without the smoke. <laughs> don't eat the mouth that feeds you. That's true. Pig only eats once every 100 days. <laughs> What's that one? No, no, never feed a horse bread. What the fuck? Yo. No, it's never feed a horse milk. But uh, Aussies drink milk. Horse milk. Yeah. Like that. You know that famous saying, never put a sticker on, <laughs> on a car. On a topic of running, let's talk about the um, the crazy marathon. What crazy marathon? The ultra. What, that ultra? Yes. That's uh, fucking mental. Which so we've it? actually, to be fair, Prod, we have br- briefly brought this up before or something similar to Don't this. Run 77 miles with ultra running. No, the one above it. Race with no end. So there is a race, oh. a running race that has no end. Okay. Right. And the way this works is the way this works is that each runner must run 3.4 miles yep. every hour um, until there is one person remaining. So it's a last man standing. Is how much is that like five, six K? It's just, yeah, it's just over five K. It's like, pff, yeah, maybe closer. Maybe it's about six K actually. Okay. Um, and to be fair, you're probably thinking, right, <laughs> for a decent runner, that's probably taken them 22, 23 minutes for yep. like a good runner. If you're entering a race like this, you could probably do it in 20, 20, maybe less. And that every hour you're thinking, what a breeze. Now, what happens is, is everybody, uh, all the racers have a vial or a little tube and it's got $100 in there. And when you've gone your limit, when you've done as many hours as possible, mm. you drop your $100 into a big box. And at the end of the race, that the last man standing gets the box of $100 and that yeah. usually equates to about $10,000. Okay. Um, which is obviously amazing. That's a sick race. Um, there's certainly a lot of races Sounds where you don't get $10,000. Cool, to be fair. Um, but it is got to be one of the most insane races as well, because you can imagine that, you know, we're not talking about, oh, they're doing this for 12 hours. Like they're doing this for days, aren't they, Prod? Yeah. Well, the winner last year did 36 laps, which is 36 Six hours. hours. So there's over yeah. 24 a hours. A day and a half of running. And you've got a, so essentially just for example, you do do it in 23 minutes. You've done your first lap. You've Sorry. then got the rest of the hour to, to relax, to rest, yeah, to, to maybe eat, 
Um, if you're through yeah, the race, Drake. if you but, maybe sorry, what I, I need to say is that it's not just like a flat race. So that twenty two twenty three, like it's a trail, yeah. And you're in the woods. It's definitely taking you longer than that. Um, I'd say it's. I I didn't actually when I because it was a look that I watched that documentary. I don't think they actually said how long like no. on average a lap no. takes. But so, you have to get it done in an hour. So yeah. it's like. I imagine a lot of people do get cut out because they or they exceed that hour that yeah. hour point. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah the 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 temperature is. And one guy literally, he's running like this last lap, and he's there like I'm suffering. He literally says like, I've got hypothermia right now. Like the temperatures in this thing went to minus fourteen. Yeah, like like it's temp- freezing. That's what makes it sound really rough. Minus fourteen. Fuck, man. It's just the battle of the mind. That's literally what this sort yeah. of race is. Like, if and- it was normal temps. You, you look at you look at the guy that won it as well. He was kind of like tatted up. Going way long. Didn't you wouldn't look at him and be like, "Wow, you're built like a like an ultra marathon runner." He looked like proper rough and rugged, and that's what probably saying is that going through this it is genuinely is just a battle of the mind. And how far? When did the first people it? start dropping out on this one? Pretty quickly, man. Like how many hours in until someone dropped out? In the out? documentary, you couldn't really see, but they. They were falling pretty much most hours. Obviously, our first three, four laps, there was still quite a few participants. Could but. you click on it's a it's called a warrior race. Could you click on the uh, warrior way wa- wa- warrior waste? Warrior waste. <laughs> war- warrior waste. Conquer. Yes, it's called the backyard ultra. So I'll just read this out. It's actually a four point one mile loop. Why well, do oh, I feel like I that know. would oh four point one mile now I, that genuinely I, makes am a big I tripping, difference. Or has David Goggins done this? Uh, or, am I of, or am I thinking of something there's called Bad Water? <laughs> now, th- there's one called like the Berkeley race. Yeah, the Berkeley Marathons. The Berkeley Marathons. That's slightly different. Um, uh, but yeah, sorry. I did say it was 3.4 mile loop. It's actually 4.1 mile. Ooh. Okay, apparently he has done it. He, he has done has this it, one. Hasn't done it, sorry. He hasn't done this one. So Is let me that- read this out. Um, there's a hundred r- runners total. Yeah. The winner gets ten thousand dollars, and um, like I said, everybody gets a hundred dollar <clears throat> bill to carry the entire race. If the runner desires to stop or times out of the race, they place the hundred dollar bill into a glass case for the overall winner to claim at the end. Two years into the planning to discover the toughest location to pull off a backyard ultra, we found it at the famous AT Approach Trail in. Amicolola Falls State Park at the coldest possible time of the year. I think a backyard ultra is a type of race. It's not the name of the race, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the loop starts at the top of the falls with the rugged East Ridge Trail leading down to the bottom parking area to pick up the lower mountain Laurel Trail and then back up the AT approach trails with 605 steps back to the top of the falls. Each runner has one hour hour to complete the 4.1 mile loop every single hour until one man or woman 6. remains. 6.6 kilometers, bro. That is, and, and by the way, you can just tell by the, like, mate, there's 605 steps back up. This is not just a, oh, let me just go run six and a half K. It's, this is a, this is a trek. But surely how do people get time to rest if they don't? Well, this, that's kind of like, the point in, in the documentary though you saw there were a lot of people yeah. who were like sitting in their tents eating food and stuff like is there actual maybe there's actual breaks yeah, no 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 there's not actual breaks it's just that I'm sure they probably go right for the next two I'm gonna go at like a good pace yeah. third one I'm gonna give it a go give myself a rest so that I can refuel there'll be like proper strategy when it comes yeah, to sure. this um, that's crazy and yeah that that is I, I, I would love to give one loop of that a go mm. just to see if I could do it in an hour. Have you ever done a trail race? Nah. I I'm did a trail half marathon with like basically no training. It was one of the fucking hardest things I've done. What time? Did I did it in like 2.10, I think. Oh, wow. So yeah, but it was time. like, um, it was down where like, I'm from. So it was like in the countryside. Yeah. And my Strava on my watch told me that I'd finished and I'd still had like two miles left. Oh, wow. That's, so I, was that's like, the worst I said thing. to Stuart, I was like, where's the finish line? He's like, you've still got like two miles, bro. <laughs> I was oh, like, what the fuck? Human. It's because the hills, it yeah. mucks up your navigation. Oh, mate. So, you know when you're doing like these trail ones, do you need like specific running shoes yeah. for them? Like different kind of vibe? Yeah, there is. I, 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 I went into the shop the other day. They're so ugly as well. Like, like they do not look clean. I think I just use my road new balances, to be honest. 
Didn't but if you right wanted shoes. to be proper sweaty about it, they yeah. have like proper yeah. running trail shoes. Yeah. Um, what's right. this? The four? Oh yeah, the Four Seasons have you seen baby. This, you guys, the nope. Four Seasons baby. Okay, go and drop this on me. This sounds a bit mad. The, by the way, Stanley's actually terrified this kid. Why? Right. So put your headphones on because you need to hear it. I, I've heard it. So four just Seasons it. baby. What the hell? There, there are headphones right there if you want them. Fire away. Oh, I can hear myself in my headphones. I'm linked up. I'm ready for the Four Seasons, baby. God, you know what this is. I have a question be. for everybody. Of course they're American, fuck's sake. Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Me! <laughs> this baby has racked up 30... Yeah. So everyone's going fucking crazy about this video, yeah? And the reason is, is because this baby has got that its interaction is far too mature for its age. Yeah. Like a baby there should not be able to go me. And then uh, I watched the Madeline RG video on the baby. And she's saying like babies at that age don't really know the word like me and I. Because they never really hear it when they're being spoken to. Yeah. So, I, so I don't know. I ain't, I want that freaked out by that babe. Play it one more time. He just like got a little bit of sauce, no? <laughs> He's like me. I have a question for everybody. <laughs> Who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. It's more mature than the the, 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 the toddler. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I guess it is a little bit weird to these versions are the best. Everybody. Who wants to go to the four seasons? You got headphones, Carl. Yeah, go. I have a question for everybody. All right, here we go. Who wants to go to the four seasons Orlando? Dearest mother, oh, how the heart yearns to impart upon thee the splendor and magnificence that is the four seasons in Orlando. Imagine, if you will, yeah, a realm quality. where luxury and tranquility. I love that, man. That's yeah, so I mean, the uh, baby, just a smart baby, eh? You know what? That baby's going to grow up and it ain't going to do anything other than the Four Seasons. When her friends say, oh, do you want to hit Napa? And we, I've got a hostel. Her that baby ain't going. Baby, it? Yeah, premium baby. That's mad. I wonder, wonder, do you know what? Do you reckon babies are just getting smarter? Do you baby. reckon that baby could have Neuralink in it? What? And we just don't know. Well, because it went me. Can you be born with? I don't Euro think Link? you realize how mad that is for a baby to do that. I don't think it's a baby. I think it's like four years old, five years old. Yeah, just and got diaper on. It just kept cosplaying. Just got a nappy on. Oh. Humans are advancing, my friend. I'm here for it. Now let but that let that baby. That live is strange. Life. That's a presidential baby. <laughs> that baby could change the world <laughs> or destroy it. I think it's more destroy. That's the vibe I'm getting. And I'll from that be baby. here. I'll I'll be saying, yo, I was there when he did the me. <laughs> I remember you. Yeah. Don't kill me. So, yeah, that baby is not, I'm not impressed by the baby. That's just, let, just let it be known. And why the hell would we have the Falmouth Worm Charming Championship? You lot need to get to know. I've seen this. this oh is my God. Freddie makes a doc every week and this part of the doc is, it's like an essay. You've got lost down a bit of a rabbit hole here. No, this is honestly the sickest thing I've ever seen. It's, it's a world record like attempt Yes. Occasion where people try and charm worms. And how, charm do you, how do you like charm, charm a worm? a snake. Do you want to read it out? All right. World record is 567 worms charmed in a single championship, which is by a so Worm riz. Crazy champion. worm riz. Worm charming is the method of attracting earthworms from the ground. This activity is usually performed to collect bait for fishing, but can also take the form of a competitive sport. As a skill and profession, worm charming is very rare. <laughs> And uh, there are 18 rules of this event as determined by fucking whatever organization that is. No drugs no. to be used, no, sorry, right, Chip? Sorry, well, that's you sorry, out of it. Sorry, can um, we show some respect to the International Federation of Charming Worms and a Allied Pastimes? Pastimes. Pastimes. Nice right. one, mate. Nice, what the nice fuck one, is a... A pastime, you fucking idiot. What, is it like right. a pastime activity? Yeah. Right, so number one, each competitor <laughs> operates in a three-by-three three meter plot. Number two, lots to be drawn to Alec. Kate plots. Fucking hell. Chip, can I can I keep it back with you? I, I don't want you that. to read out this all 18 all right, rules. Let me read the funny ones out. Nah, I think you should. Number four, worms may not be dug from the ground. Vibrations only to be used. No drugs to be used. Water is considered considered to be a drug slash stimulant. 
any form of music may be used to charm the worms out of the earth. Ooh. Can we watch the video then? Is the video of them charming the worm? Yeah. I need to but, see this. Yeah. I need to see this. I, and what, I wonder what the best method is. You could try this on your own cock, see if it gets it going. <laughs> My little worm. This reminds <laughs> me of June. You know Stanley said- June. <laughs> Oi, they June, ba June, June is based off of this. You know Stanley said to me, they're just imitating the birds because birds stamp on the ground. Okay, let's watch this one. Yeah, it's cold from Stanley. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, nice one, Stan. Watch this. Fuck off. What the hell? Oh my gosh. So, to my audio listeners out there, there's people wearing. They're in a field. They're in. They're in a field. There's people wearing. Um, what? What would you call? What is that? What? Do you know what the worms must be thinking? The world's ending. Like, can you imagine me? Look at that fucking madman knocking about. I've done some weird shit in my life, but this right up there, you know, I need to be at this. Shout out to them worm charmers. Let's be honest, we all know somebody that would be in that crowd right There's now. There's a video idea in this, I'm telling you. I charm Zach, Zach the also up there. Yeah, right here. This is, it's got Zach also written all over it. Why has she got a massive dildo on her head? All right, I don't want to watch it anymore. By the way, I've actually I've got um, an earache. Time oh. to let you know I've entered you into next year's competition. Have you actually? Yeah. Did you actually? Yeah. I'll be there, by the way. Fuck, no matter what. Man, I'm so there. God, that's uh, got me a little excited, actually. I could charm a worm. Oh, has anyone watched Clarkson Farm? Yeah. Nah. Anyone finished? Yeah. Finished it. What's the latest one? Nah. I, uh, you, the Piglet episode's a bit ma mad, you know. But yeah. Has it made you change the way you like think of it? What about eating it? Bro. Like eating pigs? Honestly. Are you no, no, Pork I, bro. I literally, anyway, I, 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 I had right. a full English the next day. Really? Yeah. But like, yeah. do you not think? Like, I mean, I still eat pork, but like, I watched that, yeah, and I just did think it was just a what slightly happens? like it was it was kind of mad how they were crying so much over the pigs, yeah, yeah, and then it's like you're literally shipping them off to get slaughtered. But like, that is a bit nuts. Nah, but then you get to love them twice. Sure, fine. Understand your your logic to a certain degree. You love them but twice. you don't think it's a bit weird. Yeah, you love you them when they're alive, and then you love them when you scran it. <laughs> Fucking hey, fair play. That's what the guy says in the. In Is the that dot. what he says? Yeah, you, yeah. That, like the, the butcher goes. Oh well, at least you get to love them twice. Yeah, and I was there like, fuck. You actually opened my eyes. I I don't get to be loved twice. I'd don't be get, lucky if I, I get, get loved to once. be loved once, man. Pork That's what I'm saying. That good to me, honestly. I don't really like it that much. Like sausages and that. It's just they're okay. Nah, I love a sausage, man. That's I think a sausage okay. is just like a staple part of life. Yeah, but ain't no chicken or beef, pal. I feel like we're 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 that we're that podcast we always talk about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we, I've been on we are. Are. I've, I've been on pork. Are. Nah, listen, <laughs> chicken. Let me make a statement. Does, if you do pork right. Nah, there isn't, there's no way that pork is beating chicken. Listen, think about the roast chicken. No, no, I agree. I agree. Mid. Mid. Clear, an mid. iconic bird. Mid. Mid. You calling roast chicken that's, mid. It's roast different chicken, for you, Roast though. chicken is so mid. Who cooks your roast chicken, though? I don't have roast chicken. I've, that's, I've, that's what I mean. I, I would be chicken, concerned if a vegan why, why was making my roast chicken. chicken because then. you live a vegan lifestyle. Oh, so I don't cook my own food, do I? No. Do you? I'm not but, like you. I cook my own food. Do you actually? Yes, of course, bro. Yeah, oh. I do actual house chores and stuff. Really? Oh. Yeah. I respect that to be fair. Yeah. What, what, okay, you know what? Me and my girlfriend, we have this argument. Yeah. What is a blue and a pink chore in your house? We what? split them into blue, a blue, and a a pink, blue job a and a pink job. You give them gender roles. <clears throat> no, color roles. What, what do the color roles mean though? Yeah, so pink is a job that she does and the yeah. blue one is the one that so I do. So you're giving them gender roles. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. Color based gender um, roles, yeah? I'll give you one. What do I do? I take the bins down. <laughs> what do I do? Taking the bins down. Yeah. All right. That I I don't I, on, I, I I do that. You know what? You know what I said. You, you know what I said to her. I said, by the way, just so you know, I'll, I'll help out. Just ask me. Yeah. Just I'm just I'm just not know. proactive. I'm a reactive guy. Definitely not proactive, but at the same time, I'm out there fucking grinding my ass off every day, all weekend to make a lot of money. Yeah. So so let's fucking preach. All right. So I I stop that and start doing some chores. Yeah. Or I keep my grind on. 100%. Because what about your TikTok breaks? TikTok breaks? Well, I use TikTok very little though. I'm a it's TikTok not my guy. kind of app, is it? I'm an IG real guy, first and foremost. <laughs> but mainly when I'm on my phone, I'm at, my main app is Reddit. 
feel like it's less polluting on my bl- my brain. No, nah, Reddit is it's most is polluting. no because I can um I can like cater it to myself like the Reddits that I was subscribed to. Like okay, I can read actually, interesting stuff. Right, or so seriously, conversations yeah. between what, other humans. What are your weekly routines then in terms of housework then? Both of you. <laughs> I walk the dog. Not much, mate. I walk the dog. Not much. Walk the dog, anything else? I walk the dog. Do you put your clothes in the washing machine? Yeah, nope. clothes in the washing basket. The, um, no, I put it in the basket. Clothes in the washing basket. So you don't put the washing machine on? No. Put, put a tablet in, turn it on? Yeah. No. Oh, sometimes I'll get the dishwasher on. When I did, when I lived on my own, I did this. Well, yeah, I'd be worried if li- you didn't, if you lived on no, your own. No, but and then at the same time, a lot of people that do live in London will have somebody that pay someone to do this for them. Yeah. Well, put their washing machine no, on. No, no, they come and no, do your washing. No, come collect your washing. Like if you work an intense job or you work a lot, you even work weekends. Then I'm it, sorry, but there's no point in life that you shouldn't just use your own fucking washing machine. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, Prod. What's the most valuable thing in life? Time. Yeah, but time. If you can't afford to do an activity, then you can't ship it off to someone else. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. So if you can do it, you should spend your money on things that buys you time. Mm-hmm. And that will be cooking. Lad, I agree. That's why putting people on the washing chef. machine isn't hard. No, no, no. But, but then you got the. It's a bit afterwards. It's long. What? The ironing, folding. I don't know. It's, it's a couple. It's a couple hours on a weekend. You know. <sighs> the goal is to. And I'd like the to take that to reach oh, financial man, freedom. This is crazy. No, the goal in life is to reach financial freedom. With financial freedom comes more time because you can use your finances to buy yourself more time, time. which is what we all really. That's why people get from. private sure, jets. But I'm sorry. Yeah. But if you take every house tour, yeah, and- no place in life to just not do normal things like that. No, that no, no, is no, no, my no. honest opinion. No, no, no. Okay, no, so fine. you're telling me that's fine. If you're a and billionaire, some people like it as well. You're a billionaire. I'll still put my fucking washing machine on, one hundred percent. That's I can, fine. I promise that's fine, you right now, Prod, you won't. I will because I would have come from that place of doing it before, and you'll always remember those little things that you do, one hundred percent. No, you won't. I'm 100%. telling you, you won't. So why would you not want to buy time if you can? If you can buy time, like, that's the most precious thing. Time, it, putting on a washing machine will take me 30 seconds. No, no, that fine. But it's the bit afterwards. Taking it out 30 seconds, you, hanging so it does up, your maybe wa- five minutes. So does, does your washing genuinely only take you like 20 minutes a week? I No, no, because I we probably put on like three or four loads of washing a week. So how, how much or, time do you reckon you spend a week doing washing? Half hour. Wow. Half hour and then half hour for Izzy. About an hour in total, I guess. Oh, okay. But like, to be fair, she works from home, so she probably does it a bit more than me. But... I honestly reckon those sorts of house chores should never be replaced. Like cleaning is one thing. Get a cleaner if yeah. you can afford it. hundred percent. Why, Why, Why cleaning? And not, I think cleaning properly, exactly. cleaning properly and doing a deep clean of your flat or house takes a lot more time. Like if you're on a Sunday, if you want to do a big yeah. deep clean of your house, it'll probably take you two, three hours. I've got so you one think, bedroom you think flat. Anything, anything under an hour you could do? Um, anything yeah, over an hour? Yeah, anything that's going to take me like 20 minutes a day max, you know, just do it. So exactly. Yeah. So you, you, you're in the same business as us. Uh, you, you would get rid of things that take up a lot of your time. It's just but, that anything but, under an hour, you're just like, oh, machine, I don't mind doing but it. But a washing machine or dishwasher or things like that don't take a lot of time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So you'll just do that forever. hundred percent. Yeah. That's fine. That's fair. Cause some people even enjoy like doing those things, don't they? Like they're therapeutic, like, you know, cleaning, spring cleaning and whatnot. No, thanks. I, d- I don't yeah, personally, like, not for me. Um, not for me either. Not in a bad way. Just like, I don't, do it. I, 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 I just, I just think truly, if, if you were offered and, uh, somebody the option to do it. it or not to do it, but most Deji, people would say, I would prefer not to Deji do it. Deji came yeah. on, he said there he are enjoys doing his washing machine, like doesn't he? Yeah, he yeah. And that's fair. Like, if you genuinely enjoy it, but that's what I'm saying. I think the majority of people would say, look, it, it, if I don't have to, I'd rather not. Yeah, I think I think the majority, yeah. even if they like to say otherwise, when you get to the point where it's like, oh, you've got the option now, yeah, you're probably going to not. Because you realistically you spend lot, time with your kids whatever you, you want do more enjoyable things or whatever that is you enjoy or maybe like probably you just want to do it but i don't want to do it i just think it's a pointless task to pay someone to do that's the, that's the main thing i'm saying i don't go to my washing machine and think fuck me i'm buzzing to put it on here. let me give you it's another one though let me give you another example that should always if you be done i've got like somebody that does do that like I, I don't have somebody that comes to pick up my washing and all that uh but if you've got somebody that does do it you can get a real good service, man. They come, they pick up all your <laughs> shit, they bring it back. It'll be pressed, pressed, clean, ready Ugh. to just jump into straight away. It'll be lovely. A lot better job than I could ever do. Let me personally just say nothing will be shrunk like I've done many times before. Yeah. So you can get a good, real good service. That's what I mean. So I would like to, that's what I like to spend my money on things that buy me time so that I can spend time with my friends 
like Chip, like Proddy, or I mean, you know, even <laughs> entertaining the fans here. Yeah. Imagine I, c- I couldn't make today. I had to do the washing. <laughs> I yeah, but come. though this is this is where I think the right? argument's yeah. a little no, bit flawed. Yeah. I hear like, you both. I hear you both. No, you hear you hear me loudly, innit? <laughs> nah, but the point is, you might is be inside loud. louder. But I'm hearing Brody too. Now the point I'm saying, yeah, yeah. if a, a task like that that is so menial, yeah. if it is going to affect your day that much, you just get up half an hour earlier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then you're taking time off of your life because sleep is the most important thing. You go to bed early the night before. Yes, you're taking off your evening. But uh, what are you going to be spending that evening doing? Well, maybe spending time with your kids. Could be, but they'll probably be in bed. They might be spending time with your wife. Valuable time so, you can spend building on a relationship, nurturing <laughs> your relationship. Mm. But probably doesn't want to do that because he said, no, I need to get I'm up. I'm just up. saying, I think it's important in life to um, to just keep doing humble tasks. That's all I think. That, you know, that's my I opinion. Guess that's that's fair my enough. opinion. That's fair enough. I, I, I like to spend time with the people closest to me and you like doing humble tasks. Just so. take a watch two different, machine two, with your missus, two, mate. Two, two, two different... Two different look outlooks, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There is no right answer. So what makes the world go around? That's exactly. true. That's true. There is no right answer. I like yeah. that. So, but th- there's certainly ones closer to the truth. Your answer there, there is no right answer. What's the correct answer? Thank you, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, let's talk about. I always say the hardest decisions are the toughest to make. That's a, that's a good line, to be fair. <laughs> I'm just spat everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a new one that I've. Uh, Delved into. Yeah, that, that's your saying as well. Don't one. put me in a position I don't want to be in. <laughs> what about the, uh, you don't want to see the wolf. That's, that's a big <laughs> one. <laughs> what? Don't want to see the Sigma wolf when he's angry. <laughs> nah, what was it? I had some written down the hardest. You things. wrote down some you know, quotes. Chip, can I just ask, you know the carousel we put out yeah. and the Arthur thing? Did Arthur actually send you that? Did yeah, you they like, definitely yeah, send each other yeah. stuff like that. It is so strange. It is so weird. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, you know, stuff happened to me. Uh, oh, there was a traumatic thing. My that, notes oh, is so it. weird, bro. Your nose? Yeah. Let me see it. It's never easy making tough decisions. <laughs> Let me see your nose. Uh, closest McDonald's is 60 miles away. That's one hour if I was going 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Where are these? Is that in America? Yeah, it must have been a it must have been a fucking bar for my video. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, I've got um, I watched that uh, film, The Founder. You ever yeah. watched it? McDonald's it's just come onto Netflix. Yeah, I've seen that. Class. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, you should do Film Friday about that. Yeah, we did see that one. I want to do a Film Friday about the new Mad Max Furious. Furious, Furious. Furious. I haven't finished the first one. Oh, the first one's good, man. Yeah. I... I was, I don't know. I, it's really like well received and people love it. I just don't know if it's my, my kind of film. The action in it's crazy. And I guess that's just what it's meant yeah. to be. Right. So people that don't know, voices, we actually, the uh, voices in it were annoying me. I don't know if I was watching a dodgy version, but it's like dubbed over, right? Or whatever. Mm, yeah. That's what happens if you download things from LimeWire. Nah, okay? I was watching it on what movies, watchmovies.fh. Uh, <laughs> no. That's not a real website. No, no you did not I watch it on that. Let me see if that exists. <laughs> uh, Watch movies. No, don't, you're going to get a fucking kid. Dot I pulled up my Safari the other day and it was just chat about every tab because, uh, <laughs> because I was trying to watch Godzilla, um, not illegally. Um, and it just fucking pulled every time I click play it would pop up pop up pop up and I just didn't close the tab so I pulled them up I was like whoa someone's minge is getting plowed <laughs> no way what and your missus was like what are you watching yeah I was just like look chat mate <laughs> she's like oh fine classic chip <laughs> she knows she knows the game uh, yeah, like, people that don't know we do film Fridays uh, every other Friday we review a film recently we did Brokeback Mountain yeah it's over on fellas loaded yeah on fellas loaded fucking scummy little money grabber eh what? It's <laughs> just what we were getting called for doing our own Patreon, essentially. Um, but yeah, we did Brokeback Mountain. What was a, a recent today? We're reviewing Bullet um, Train. Uh, Bullet Train. Bullet Train. I wish you didn't pick that movie. I've already seen it, but I didn't want to rewatch it. So now I'm in that part where I can only remember certain bits. Oh, well, I got so you. So you're gonna you're gonna lead, and I'll come in. I got great you. movie. I think though. the reason that got picked by Sam was because it's just been put onto Netflix. Yeah, yeah. it is just on. Netflix. We want to be doing movies that people accessible. Can jump in and accessible. Brokeback Mountain yeah. was a, a hidden gem. <laughs> Fucking great movie, man. Super gay. Yeah, but I fucking loved it. Made me realize that, that tent could... scene. Yeah, how gay are we talking? Like, no, do you nah, see full it's, on... gay. it's fully like, gay. It's like, like no, no, no. The tent gay. scene about thirty minutes in, and it 
shocked me. Yeah. I'm I was wait, there like, Whoa. So the gay stuff starts 30 minutes in. I Bro, they go straight in into that. I thought it kind of builds up. No, yeah, because no. I thought it was about like, how these two are like, like there's just a lot of like tension in the air. Yeah. And then eventually by the end, they give each other like a big Ooh, kiss. I'd love to have Bro, a whiff. They're the having tent, like know. deep penetrating asshole sex. Mm. But you don't see, unfortunately. 30 minutes oh, in. You just see like... Chip said he got bricked up though. 100%. That I'd love to have a whiff of the tent, by the way. You know <laughs> the David? smell of nut. <laughs> I've, you know what? That's a mad I'm shout. Well, that's a mad shout. You know how like when you're young <clears throat> and your mum walks into your bedroom yeah. and she's like, fucking smells of boys in here. We know that they're talking about it smells of nut. No, that's yeah. not what they so, mean, Prod. Yes, prod that, I'm yes, sorry. I don't know is. what the fuck the smell, your mum raised you on. Especially when like little bits of the nut would go on the wall. <laughs> you know, see, I know. This, this now is, you're just lying. Stupid. Now that's you're just far, lying. Man. There's no that's way. not too far. We're well, no, boys. Boys will be boys. The point is, the smell of boy is nut, okay? It's not. Yes, it is. It's like a musky nut. Sweat not and B.O. Yeah, and not. It's not. <laughs> it is. It's not, bro. I'm oh, guaranteed. No. The smell of- Call your mum right now. No. If you're really about this, call your mum right now. Live, live speaker right now. Oh. Come on. Say, just, no, no, you don't have to bring up the nut thing. Call her and just say, All right. describe the smell don't of call, boys. Don't call right. your mum. Don't call your mum. No, Let's call your mum. No, call it's your fine. Mom. It's fine. It's all good. One second. Because this, is, this, in my opinion, is mental. All right. He's going to call his missus, pretend it's his mum. <laughs> no, I'll call my actual mum. Although she was beef me because I hadn't contacted her for a few days. Well, then here you go. Perfect time. Right, Let's reconnect. Damn, I ain't spoke to my mum in months. <laughs> joking. She's blocked you. No, I'm joking. I've never heard his mum before. She's got bad beavers. Have I? No, I have. I have. I met her. We've met her? Yeah. At the engagement party. What did you say? She had a... Bad bee voice. Oh, right. <laughs> no, oh. Not like that. Nah, no she's way. airing me. She's aired you up. Damn. Freak. Stanley, call you. Can mom. I call you later? She says. Uh, no problem. No problem. All right, fine. Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, but the point I'm making is what we got onto the nut smell yeah. is you know how, like, you'd love to smell the tent? Do you reckon if it's two blokes? He was nut, joking, though, bro. No, no, I'm just raising the point. I Do you reckon the smell of two blokes, nut, the, the, the overwhelming smell <clears throat> of, like, boy hmm. is. That, it's a natural test booster. Yeah, like, I what do you swear. reckon that smells like? Well, so you're reckon you go in there, you go, and you walk out like it's PB City. Yeah, I'd be fucking running about like Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady was known for not running about. Yeah, he threw the ball. Nah, but you know, he masculine guy. His wife cheated on him with a jujitsu instructor. Fuck, I picked the wrong guy. Um, who's Gosh, she must have really rated him because that geezer's net worth definitely isn't as high. No, but she's super rich though. Why? From divorce? No. Before that, was that is <laughs> such a mad assumption, by the way. No, no, no. But <laughs> now nah, the there is a crazy stat about. Anyways, <laughs> nah. what was she beforehand? No, no, no. Her family was rich. I think. Oh, come on, you can't. I don't know anything about this stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her family was rich beforehand. Um, but right, what did they do? Fuck, man. I don't know, bro. I already given you insight into Tom Brady. Stop asking me. <laughs> were, they, were they rich from divorces? No. I don't know. <laughs> Just a generation of fucking <laughs> divorce bags. Here you go. Here you go. Network reveals what she gained or lost. Yes, she was rich as hell, man. Oh, so maybe maybe he got a bag from the divorce. He did get oh, a little. Oh, shit. Yeah. He got Is it the other way hair. around here? What a play. Shout out to Tom. Tom getting his satchel up. <laughs> <laughs> getting his coin satchel. Talking um, of divorce, Randy's new trim's nice. Oh, that's bro, crazy. Why though. You I say that, that, man. It's only okay when I do it. Yeah, he's not really <laughs> fucking with it like that, bro. <laughs> uh, Ran uh, no, no, no. But tell me, Randy doesn't look like. What's his new trim, though? You haven't seen his new trim? Oh, what? No. Nah, get his new trim up. I've seen Randy in a couple of weeks, to be fair. He's just released a pod, so that's why everyone's talking. Tell about me. It. Can I see? Randolph doesn't look like Bully Boy. Bully Boy? Who's that? What, Michael Smith? That's Michael Smith. Yeah. not real, is it? Well, you're not fucking with the trim. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I actually like it. Yeah, it's calm. Nah, though. you know what? <laughs> let me let, you, let me lay my eyes on him. <laughs> First assumption is uh, to laugh, because it's just Randy. I like it. It genuinely looks good. He's get he's getting a good reception for this. People saying it looks like Nepenthes. <laughs> oh, that's a good shout. It, it's genuinely like if Michael Smith well, and Nepenthes had a, I've had a baby. I've never seen him with any other trim from the top of my head. When is he ever? It's because the trim? man bun is out. The man you know bun what? was in for a bit. It's gone now. His hairline ain't that bad. Yeah, it's calm. I don't, I don't want to compliment him. Why not? 
Because I don't fuck with him like He's that. been through enough, man. Just compliment him. Nah, I do love Randy. His, his beard looks sharp there too. Fucking call this guy as well, man. He actually is. Um, yeah, he's always had a good beard. I don't know. I'm going to need that to grow on me if I'm just being honest. Right. I don't Maybe wanna, you need to see it in person. I don't want to fucking glaze him for no reason. Yeah. Uh, can I get another angle? <laughs> 360. So what? Is he getting a positive reception? Yeah. Simon looks nicer. Yeah, they're lighting in that set. Looks good. Oh yeah, give me this. You know what? It's like really well done trim. Yeah. Uh, at least I think like whoever cut it has done a good job. Yeah, good job to them. All right. So yeah, now that we've covered Randolph's trim, let's talk about sundress season. What is sundress season? You don't know what sundress season is? Is, is this just about when women wear sundresses and guys start getting feral? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that before. Right, okay, so uh, is it like a is it a fucking? So obviously, did you it, give it that name or is it? A no, it's a well known thing, yeah. sundress season. But this guy made a TikTok about it, just explaining it to women what guys were referring to. However, okay. he got it so wrong. What oh, would you really? refer to as a sundress? Just like a like L a like, like a, a knee dress. length, yeah, flowery dress, or, Flower, may, or yeah. maybe a, a, just above the knee. Yeah, cap. but what sort of fit are you thinking? Like quite. L like Quite a flowy, uh, like a, not have, like have a we fancy, got it wrong? Not like a fancy Mayfair dress or anything like, like that. Like what your grandma I would wear. It something nice, something nice, and just floaty and. Yeah. So this is this is it's how to me like, and cute. all the comment section. But I don't know. So I could be way off. Thought right, what a sundress maxi was. Maxi dress he's typed in here. What's a maxi dress? So like the ones where it's just like slightly tight. You thought that was a sun. You thought that was a sundress. That's not and a sundress. Me and all of the comment section. That is not a sundress. Nah, nah. No, nah, that's not a sundress, is it? Why would you think that's a sundress, though? What would make you think that? Because it doesn't. I'm gonna play the video. Yeah, all right. Let me listen to this. That that is not a sundress. I swear, a sundress is that. Are we are we wrong here then? But look, just Let's look see. at this video. You know. Oh wait, it's a girl. Oh, mate, no, it's so. a guy. It cuts to oh, a guy. Okay, okay. I'm fucking Today stupid. So somebody, which one is the sundress? Okay, I've been seeing a lot of discourse on this online. So, ladies, I'm going to explain it to you. You've left me no choice but the mansplain woman's fashion, at least from the male psyche, as it is. This is a sundress. Yes, this yes, yes. That's what I think a sundress is. This is the first thing that pops so up. So we're wrong then. So we're getting cooked. I swear, even my missus. We definitely says, think. Oh no, no. So oh, okay, okay, okay. So women. No, this is a guy. He's called Eddie. We definitely think of maxi dresses when the term sundresses drops. No, we don't. No, is we a don't. maxi dress a tight one? It's kind of like a flowy tight dress. Yeah, Show me a maxi a... dress. Type it in. No, no, that's the thing he just showed us. Yeah, well. but... Oh, okay. I thought you meant maxi dress was the tight um, that body thing. tight one. That's what he's saying. Is it the maxi? one that he just showed on the TikTok is what I think is sundress. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, that That's what I thought. So I think it, that guy's and, right. And, and chill. Would you wear a sundress? No. Actually, fuck it. Yeah, why not? I think I've got nice legs. I got quite feminine thighs. I should have been a fucking girl, to be honest. Well, looking back, you're too thing. hairy, bro. Yeah, that's true. I am very hairy. You're a, you you would have you all right though? Won't last fucking two minutes, would I? No, I don't think you would. I won't be getting any cock anyway. My armpit hair yeah. started growing on my bicep. Is you that what? weird? You what? Sorry, my armpit hair started growing on my bicep. Are you you're sure lying. that's just I not? Swear, bro. Are you sure that's Wait, not? The nah. Yeah, like here. It's like here. Genuinely, that's just bicep hair then. Wait, since when's that been a thing? Bi hair. Hmm. It's it's since I started taking Tonka Alley. Are you actually serious? Yeah. So maybe your testosterone is through the roof. Are you on maybe that's why you're getting mad aggressive. Like right now, you just like, yeah, had a little fuming. roid rage there. Yeah. But <laughs> I haven't taken. So it that would explain. <laughs> You got that veins. Explain a lot, you got you know, veins popping out. Can you, uh, to people that don't know, Tonka Alley is like something that you can take. Testosterone. Yeah, you, did you try it? I've got some, and I think I tried it for a little bit and just sat off. You got to like keep it. consistent with it. Yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, I, I think stop. I probably did it for a week or two, and then. Stopped. Nah, you need to be way longer, longer than that, like yeah. months. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe and it's supposed to help. I'll let Proddy do his review. Let's see how yeah. many armpit hairs he gets on his bicep and then we'll make Well, just hopefully my fucking facial hair starts growing. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. No, it's more just uh, just to be a more healthy individual. Yes. Nice, no, I respect that. More testosterone equals more health. Yeah. Pretty much. Better immune system as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of benefits yeah. to having a, a high testosterone, but one of the downsides is um, losing your temper on podcasts. So just yeah. keep that in mind. Keep it civil, lad, please. <laughs> keep it keep it civil. Uh, we had our big FPL league. Mm. Uh, we got we had two FPL Woo! leagues. We'll talk about both of them. First yes. things first, our FPL league. Our one. Which, with the boys, um, we had our losers. Yes. Which um, our three losers were, um, in no particular order, JJ, 
H- Harry, by the way, oh, Harry was... ended up Dang. in the pit and Lux, which is a massive surprise mm, because Harry it? notoriously loves to take the piss out of people and unfortunately fell victim to his own trash talk and ended up in the bottom. This three. wasn't Harry's first year, was it? No, is it? Year. No, th- third year. He's done it as long as I've done it. Oh shit. Why did I think- Maybe four years, yeah. And yeah, he had uh he had a stinker mm. in the last few weeks, to be fair to him. Yeah, he did. It's sad to see. Um so yeah, bottom three, they've got a little forfeit, they gotta pay five grand each. And then they and then one of them has uh, a forfeit that I mean we're just kinda waiting to see that forfeit. Well, we can't we can't disclose but it. But we're not allowed to talk about it. So in a month's time we will talk about what that forfeit is. Is it not obvious though, now that people know who the loser is? No, because nobody knows who the actual loser is. Nobody He's knows. just said. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I said in no said particular th- order. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Um interesting. And who was the winner? Was it Joel? Joel won it. Um but we're convinced he's uh has has some you put in an asterisk yeah i'm putting an asterisk over that because i think he's got like a little uh, a kid somewhere a kid somewhere fucking, um, that's just sweating it, for it out him. for yeah. him he's paying someone on fiver like yeah like yeah we're, we're certain of it. there's a lot of foul play that goes on in this league so like really? lots of in- investigations were launched throughout the season but it, it so far uh everyone came up clean there was actually no cheating this year as far yeah. as we could tell there's still um obviously Certain investigations. How do you cheat in FPL, man? Oh, mate, it's well, there was just like certain rules set in the league, like no right. going to FPL creators Got asking you. for help, no, no getting advice from people. Got all I this think sort of last stuff. year we had Will did that. No, was the, it Will? the year before, wasn't it? Was it the, yeah, the year before Will was getting was getting help off someone. Yeah, well, he Probably had a, an FPL creator just that you manage his team for him. So that wasn't very. That wasn't. What very does the winner cool. get? Uh, the winner just doesn't have to pay for their drinks on the holiday. Now we're trying to figure out where do we go for this holiday? Because originally we were thinking, oh, maybe we could go to a Euros game. Mm. But then the round of 16 games, which is the, it's the, the time that, that we've booked yeah. off for it, is it's in Stuttgart. And I'm just saying like, And we Ugh. also like, we might not, we might not make it. Like, Bro, there's a good, no, sorry, know. it was the quarters. The quarters. So it was the quarters. We got to get to the quarters. Like, imagine you book it all and then yeah. you don't make it and then you just stuck there. In Stuttgart. I mean, yeah, you could go to watch one of the other Euro games. Could you not just a book a little Ryanair flight and then just like firm the like 150 quid loss? Oh, I'd be f- oh no. Could do. Max. I mean, a lot of fans out there. I just don't, I don't know if it would be a great time. Well, the flights the even be cheap now because obviously the location is known. True. Yeah, that's a good Probably point. Probably all mm. premium, eh? So we're looking at potentially doing another thing. I've been, I've been trying to push a little boys trip to, to Kinta. Where? To, like uh, a, have you just got me an Enigma? Fuck. No, no, I haven't. Is it a real place? Nah, Portugal real golf place. trip, I assume. Uh, nah, don't do a little golf trip, bro. Don't do that. Nah, it's, like, nah, there's no golf there. You're good. Yeah? Yeah. I don't like, I don't want to go to Portugal anyway after what happened. <laughs> what, were you scared, scared about getting kidnapped? Yeah, that's where it all went down, isn't it? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. yeah bro. You're the type of guy to go over there and find her, I swear to God. <laughs> Yeah. Just walks around the street and just sees. Just fucking on the magnifying. Like. Have you seen this? <laughs> By the way, I swear she'd be like twenty odd. She would. She she's a big grown adult now. Yeah, because I happen. I remember being a kid when I first heard about it. So, um, yeah, she'd be like twenty. Yeah, odd. she's so, long gone. Twenty five. I don't know. If, I don't know the exact age. How about we go to like somewhere like Alabama or something, bro? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like somewhere, <sighs> somewhere you wouldn't usually go. Let's go, let D- Detroit. Let's go. Hear me out. Or, or like Japan. I've got a better or... idea. I, I, I can't believe we haven't thought about this. What? Let's go to Colombia. Yeah, I'm, I'm with, with you there. <laughs> that would be so sick. I've heard about so many stories about people getting kidnapped there what, too. What's so it, Kurt Kaz? Yeah, yeah, he he's been there, hasn't he? I've, I think Dangerous I've spot. He's got a few kids over there, probably. Yeah, he's a bit of a what is he a, a shagger? Demon, isn't he? Oh, yeah. bro, every, he's always got like girls yeah. in his videos, don't he? Like he'll um, meet up with local girls. That's why that. he kind of like blew up a bit because he'd always whack him in the thumbnails with him. Oh, really? So what? He would just go traveling, yeah. meet a girl there, yeah. spend the week with. He's her. a fucking legend. I love his videos. Yeah, his videos are good. To be fair, I do. I would love to have him on the pod one day, but I don't think he's ever here. Yeah, I, I messaged him and he said he'd come on. Kurt Kaz? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I messaged him, he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> look, at his, look at his popular Obviously. vids. Oh, yeah, it's just a girl. Yeah, fine. 
So he's always linking up with these. What is he just going like Brazil and oh, stuff? Oh shit, he's a man. He's Brazilian a girl kidnaps me from Colombia. <laughs> that sounds like something that you would he's be, that involved, I'd be involved in. in. <laughs> yeah, you gotta rate him. To be fair, I would like to go to Colombia. Look at the that's raw natural YouTube right there. Just a little snap from the <laughs> That one. UAE escape with Venezuelan girlfriend. This guy does not mess around. You know what's crazy? There's a red watch bar on quite a few of these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially on that top one. <laughs> <laughs> Brody, you got a little thumbnail. Would you, would you do somewhere in South America? Um, I'd love to go there, but obviously I have to... Uh, be a bit nah, careful. nah. Do you know what? We don't, it, we don't have long either. We're, it's only like Friday to, uh, to Sunday or something like that. Or to Monday. I've got so my FPL to... money to spend on a holiday. What FPL money? My that's a, that's an escrow right now until the investigation is completed. What's the, in, what's There's the an investigation, isn't there, actually? Yeah, yeah, there has to be. It's fully on, launched. Go on. T I want you to put all your chips how on many, the table. Can I ask, I, by so, the way, how many points did probably win by? Three. Three. And did you did you end up with Haaland and Foden? Foden who got uh, Yeah, I just trick. made a normal trade for the final game week. Lewis wanted Chris Wood, so I got Haaland. I gave does, that not, does that sound interesting to you, Chip? So on the final game week, yeah, you've tr made a trade with somebody that's pretty much out of the game completely. And he's yeah. just giving you the two, pretty much two of the highest scoring players in the game for Chris Wood. He scored two on the final day. No, no, no. Yeah, but Foden did a bit better than him. You know, he also scored two. A, a top of bonus and an assist. Did he not get an assist? Mm, they he own... assist. No. I think no. he only got two goals. But look, I, I did nothing. But but I did players. nothing but follow yeah, the rules so, anyway, and to simply explain, just got players in return for players. People need to um, to know the context here. So uh, obviously we have an office FPL yeah. as well. Um, and the situation for that is that the winner gets £500 of my money. Not of the company's, but of my money. Um, also gets three holiday days as well. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty big. Is it your money? Yeah, it's my money. 500, 500 good, quid of my money. Good fucking on yellow. But um, I didn't do anything, good man. I won work. it fair and square. Good um, and then the bottom two, which were Kwame and Chip. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Kwame has to go to the uh, summer party, mm -hmm. the fella summer party, dressed in an outfit of the office's choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, I'm actually very excited. That one's that. a good one, to be fair. And Chip has to spend time uh, a week in the office. Yes. And. We'll see how that goes, but the the um the thing that me and Prodi are talking about is obviously uh, it wasn't like a regular FPL. We did an FPL draft, which I would highly recommend to anyone. Sick, I it is really have, good. I would have enjoyed it if I didn't had a chance. Draft. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah, so I pretty much fucked it from the get. -go. What happened was uh there were some trades that went on. Now the way draft works is you just make a trade with somebody that. else, and somebody had uh, alerted me that. Somehow on the final day, mm. um, Prodi managed to get his hands on Foden and Haaland, which was mm. interesting because I had messaged Cam, uh, yeah. graphics guy here, mm. and I said, any danger of you giving me Salah and Gvardiol? Mm. And he said, how much money are you going to give me? And I replied to him and I said, Nope, no money. That's against mm. my morals. Yeah, but you um, still got those players, correct? Oh yeah, yeah, but it's, yeah. yeah. And then he just traded so, me the players. Okay, so cool. fair enough. All right. Um, and I was like, oh, Grant. Anyways, I'd heard prod. Mm -hmm. And what was interesting? Yeah. About it, and and the reason why there's an investigation launched because right, okay. of course I Go take on. your word for the money. Thing that's good. That's good. Because I actually, I, I think you, like you also wouldn't give away all the hard work because you knew the money thing would be would be bust. Absolutely. But what what did interest me yeah. was when Lewis had said I was offered something I couldn't refuse Chris mm. Wood. and <laughs> Chris Wood <laughs> exactly now if it is Chris Wood then absolutely fair enough um but for that reason obviously as any judicial system yeah. there were eyebrows raised and now there's an investigation yeah. launched so stay tuned for the fellas vlog because there's a court date that's been set yeah. and we actually have judges witnesses and people coming in. Oh, may I yeah. call me up though? May I I'll, just I'll um, propose my side of the point? Whatever so, you say or do, yeah, maybe you should. Absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely fine. So obviously you mentioned uh, Cameron Bell, our yes. graphic designer. Yeah. Um, Great guy. So I was also raised aware of uh, the situation that you received yeah. a couple of players the final day. Um, so I just sent some trades. That's all yeah. I did. And, and, it, um, and like I said, if that is the case, was, then... 
the 500 pounds will be Absolutely. in your bank account as soon as that hammer lands on that table. That's brilliant to hear. That's because good to hear. As, uh, I think, as you said, I would not have... Uh, held my hands up. I would not have like risked that final exactly. day thing by paying for players. So yeah, unfortunately we have to wait for the, you know, we know the court systems are slow. Um, they're jam packed these days. But I do want to get this holiday in this summer. So uh, yeah, no, look, I look, I hope so. I, you know, it's down to, um, I'm thinking to Croatia. Ollie. I've not really explored too much of Croatia. I would do Croatia if I could recommend it anywhere. We went on our FPL trip last time to Dubrovnik. There's going to be a jury as well. Yes. So just want to let you guys know that. I will be both witness and part of the <laughs> you know jury. The jury and judge, you know the jury and has and to be. Will, I will be extremely fair. You know the jury can't be in the FPL league. You know that. Yeah, of course. Uh, no, no, it has to be. By the way, I'm actually yeah. getting people that have nothing to yeah, do with this. I just want to say, I, do found, it I found a loophole. <laughs> because the the uh, the ruling is the jury can't take part in the draft. I didn't pay, take part in that draft. No, we can tell, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I, missed, I missed it. So I will be there, but I will be fair and honest. And if there was no foul play, then the money will be going towards yeah. the victim. Do you, like, will I need to provide any paperwork? <laughs> Uh, no, but there will be witnesses called to the stand. Okay. We'll, so we'll, they'll do all that. Yeah, so do it, we got A4 do, I, do, I, do I have to get my representatives to pick my witnesses? How does this work? Uh, I mean, there's only really two people that Cam and Lewis. Okay. So, so Cam, they're, they're Cam is your people. witness. Lewis is mine. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. Okay, and we cross right. examine them. Okay. All right, interesting. Damn, I can't wait for this. It's going to be a sick video, to be fair. So make sure if you haven't already, check out the Fellow Studios <laughs> vlog. That's going to be an absolute belter. All right, let's talk about Madeline McCann. What Why? job would she be no, doing no, if she was alive? Spoke about it before. What job would she be doing if she was or, alive? Or she might be a barista. PLT. She would have gone to the PLT casting. She would have definitely gone to the PLT casting. Yeah. Can we? Can, yeah, you can. Why say can't that. you say that? <sighs> well, you know, was mad in it. Can you explain? Can you explain the PLT thing? Why is everyone <laughs> kicking off What's about this? this? Nah, I heard. That, okay, this is from my point of view. They've gone right. If you want to model for PLT, yeah. rock up to this gaff. We're doing an open casting. So usually okay. they'd source their models Sounds by normal. going up to fucking. A modeling agency and be mm -hmm. like, right, you'll do a job, you'll do a job, boom. So this time they've gone and said, anybody can go. Yeah. Yeah. And loads of people rocked up. Okay. Because obviously it's PLT and it's probably a pretty good gig if you get it. So it's rocked up. And then I'm seeing everyone fucking complaining about it. Why? Why are they complaining? What now? Now, the peep, there were people that complaining essentially saying that these are people who aren't, like, aren't being aspirational and this is so sad that this is being your goal. It's just what the being a model. Like, it's not that deep. I'm sorry, but somebody, that's, a, like, that's a cool bucket list thing yeah. to do. I mean, if you're somebody, not a model, somebody got to fucking do it. Yeah. What's wrong with being a model? Yeah. People just get too rattled by everything, though, on, on social media. Uh, I think that's sick. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you, know, you know what I heard? I heard like, that people reckon that none of these people are actually going to be picked and they're literally just going to just get somebody from a model agent. I feel like the, there, must be, so badly, um, there must be some negativity around this as well. Like, um, I can imagine some people are getting cooked. Hear me out, Chip. PLT, if you're watching, me and Chip will model for you. No, we are so fucking clapped. No, no, no. But no, no, no. <laughs> That's the thing. Nowadays, you got to be a little bit clapped to be a model, you know? You reckon? And I know I might be pushing nah, that line a little think, too far, but let, let me have a chance. There's even like a level of clapped that, yeah. that, that there's like, oh, your model clapped. We ain't even that. Yeah, we no, ju we're, we're just so like, fun. right. Nah, I reckon dress both of you up in some capacity. Nah. You can be calm. Right picture. Nah, we're too like, right, I got, man. No, nah, we got like... Like big teeth, nah, big lips. We're not it. We're the whole it. thing. Just, the whole I got thing a long need. face. I see models yeah. with long faces. You've got caricature like faces. Come on, bro. That is, that's a bad thing though, no? Not in this Come situation. On, yeah, in everyday life, it's not great. <laughs> you but. know what? We don't have the look though, like to be doing like the faces to no, I can, I can. Hold up. Dial me in. Like, okay, like, you know, with the open mouth. <laughs> you got to open your mouth, man. Bro, I'm a mouth breather anyway. So that comes naturally. I'll just, just, all they have to tell me is to breathe. Idea. Maybe for our 165 stuff, all models have to be like, look like mouth breathers and have their mouths open to pose. Mm. Why don't we, why don't we for our models just get the ugliest fucking people? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'm on that. We should do that. What? No, because then it's mean to like hire them and then no, they watch the this back and then is, they go. If you're, if you think you're clapped, yeah. come oh, to our casting. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we'll say, yeah, we agree you are clapped. Yeah, like, oh my God, you're actually the ugliest one we found today. <laughs> Congrats, bro. <laughs> Sit here, bro. Get a check. Yeah, I'm fucking down. Let's do it. Uh, what, what, in the modeling world, 
I don't know why this is coming up on my for you page, yeah. but I'm getting videos and I didn't realize I knew that there were scouts out there that did <laughs> modeling. Yep. But they go to any event. I seen a video of a scout, a modeling scout going to like an Rodrigo, uh, Olivia Rodrigo concert. Mm. And Business she's just there like, yeah, I'm stood outside of like whatever the venue is. I'm looking, it's a bit of a rainy day. So I haven't actually been able to get a good glance at anyone's face. And she's just like, like that, how many, do you reckon that there's been people stood there and they've looked at you and they've thought, maybe. <laughs> like and that, what yeah, events? Yeah, like like oh, they go to festivals, they go to all this stuff to scout for potential models. It happened to my mate in an Epsom nightclub. He was just <laughs> Epsom all of right, all bro. places. He's it's always your lad. mate. It's always the mate. Every well, it's not time, fucking me, bro. is it? It could nah, be, bro. I always got a story about the mate that, that every subject yeah. we've ever had. Yeah, He's mate. called Toby. Toby, good is lad. he good looking? Yeah, good looking lad. Yeah. Okay, well maybe this yeah. one is tall, is blonde. Good. Yeah, good looking yeah. lad. Did he get? A That's kind of like me, yeah, you know. He got, he got a gig. He did some photo. He did some modelling for Alcatel, like with their new phone. With who? Alcatel. Remember the phone? <laughs> is no. The Ligma thing. You not remember Alcatel? Alcatel. Alcatel. Stan. You know he what he's talking know. about? He's like three years old. Alcatel. I've never heard of this. I'm looking at it now. <laughs> No, nah, never seen that. Nah, I'm looking at a 40 quid phone. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> French brand owned by... So you're just modeling for this? Owned by Nokia. Nokia, what country are they from? I think they're a Japanese company. Nah, apparently owned by Finnish consumer electronics company Nokia. I did not know that, if that's true. Let me see if he's... Huh. I'm, I'm yeah, anyway. I don't know if that's true. Where is Nokia? So w have you ever been approached, Prod? No, of course not. Have you ever been asked to go on Love Island? Finland, yeah. No. Fairs, okay. No. Chance of Finland. You being asked to go on Love Island? No. <laughs> I know. Why would I get asked to go on Love Island? Oh, they should just ask like people that, they should just do a Love Island, but it's people who are just all in relationships and they just, <laughs> no one gets together. And it's a test. <laughs> They've it's done one shows. big test. <laughs> What is what are they doing with Love Island now? Is it just still the same shit? Every it's year? back. My oh, Jamma, I saw her thing she, saying she's doing it again. Uh, my to be fair, my Jamma like suits that um, Love Island presenter role. I think, anyways, but the actual show itself is W Glaze there is on the ropes. Yo, nothing interesting is happening in the I world. Just I, it, yeah, like, I think we are at like a bit of a problem. Part we're of society. at crossroads, but there is no road to cross. General fuck, election soon, fuck. though. General election? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Who do you want to win? I bleed blue. <laughs> do you agree? I'm not happy with the, how this is going. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there is nothing going on. What's happening? Bro, what is actually happening in this world? I just realised. Like oh, we're just waiting for the Euros. That's it. Not oh. even. I'm not, not even. <laughs> I, ain't got even sad. I ain't even looking forward to that that much. I know we, we ain't doing it. Donald Trump needs to be president again. You know how Whoa. crazy the world was when Donald Trump was Did president. Did you see the video he dropped? What, Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> nah, it's so funny. Donald Trump is just like, I remember when he was president, I would wake up every single day, something fucking crazy has happened. I need to get- A back. big natural disaster. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Wait for uh, no, no deaths, hopefully, but- <laughs> Ah, to be fair, you know it. Uh, Wait, this is on Donald Trump's insta. actual thing. It's mocking the way Biden's walking. Wait, visit. Oh, but he's walking to Left. a care home. Is that well? Here you go. Is that mean? This one I'm what, thinking of. Well, what is it? Is swing? What do you think about the swing? You, have, you, have you not heard of me? He always talks about how he used to be like club. So the captions club four. Champ. Is that good, Cal? <laughs> Whoever's running his socials is gold. Oh my gold. god. Oh, for audio listeners, he hit a golf ball and it hit Joe Biden's head three times. Oh. oh, yeah, man, we can do that. What else would spice up this world right now, Chip? I don't know. We need to. We need to get moving, guys. Let me give you a pro tip. Stop listening to this podcast. This podcast and, and is this podcast falling off. And start listening. Are we to... talking about anything? And has this episode had anything of substance in it? Yeah. Like you what? talked about how you wanted to sniff the inside of a tent after two men. Yeah, That's we what I'm saying. What, what is a man smell? Yeah. People are learning a lot by being here, you know. Are they actually? Yeah, hundred percent. Learning how fucking moronic we are. And can, 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 can I talk about what I was gonna say? You what? guys need to not listen to this podcast. Go and listen to Joe Rogan's with a with a, with a fella named Paulie R something. And it's about a guy 
who goes into the Amazon jungle, Ooh. lives there for like three months. Um, and he's like, he's, he's called a jungle keeper out there. And he went out there originally to go and um, like stop the Amazon from being essentially destroyed. But he talks about the stuff that he sees when he's there. Some of the stuff drop, that he was that mentioning. And stuff, I think yeah. one of the things that he is also known for is capturing the world's largest anaconda as well, or at least on record. So he says, uh, so, and, and this anaconda is about 18. Um, Wait, sorry, you say he's captured that? Yes, so anaconda. he caught that. Um, yeah, if you can find his Instagram, Paulie sorry. Shaw. No, no, no. Um, not Polly. maybe it's not. Fuck. Let me just get up here because I, I want you to- I saw the funniest fucking search recommendation. <laughs> because- <laughs> Why do they wear headphones on Joe Rogan? <laughs> Brody, why did you type No, that? I haven't, bro. Look, so is that what someone else has typed in? Yeah, probably. No, because I've not typed in any of that. That's Let, all just trending searches. I started a movie. Uh, sorry, this is way off topic. So maybe I should wait. Actually, let's let's finish. Sorry, yeah. His first. name is Paul Rosso Rossoli. So Paul, and then just go to his Instagram if you can. R Rossoli. Rossoli. There it is. Second. American. Uh, uh, no, no, but that you you don't you want his Instagram? Yeah. Um. And you might be able to find the anaconda picture actually. So he found, Fuck. yeah. So this guy goes out, he deals with like all these snakes. He talks about them. Um, he's like a big advocate for snakes. He's always in the Amazon at night finding uh, like the most incredible wildlife. And he, and he was saying so much, but on the topic of the anaconda thing, he found an 18 foot long anaconda, mm. 18 foot. Right. And he had said, that's not even the biggest one that he's seen. He's seen like 24 foot anacondas. He just can't catch them, obviously. Um, he, he was also saying that, you know how there's those uh, uncontacted tribes there. Mm -hmm. He would find them or sorry, not find them, but like you, they stumble across them and they're the most like, they're so dangerous. Like if they find you, they just, they're going to kill you. That's the anaconda that he caught. Wow. Did he kill it? Uh, I'm not sure. Should we go to I the, can't remember. Should we go to Amazon Rainforest? Um, no, nah, I, I, what, trust me, after what he was saying, I can't go. We'll, we'll he, go, he we'll goes go like on deep a into we'll it and he finds these, more of a safer what one. the fuck is Guided that? Guided or something. He, he, he goes well, and we stumbles across yeah. this uncontacted tribe Yep. and he realizes it and he just starts running for like three days straight. He's just running, getting up far away from them as possible. Um, and he tells a story about how he, he got away from them. Uh, he knows a bunch of people that have died to these people as well. Um, and, Man. and also he just, it, he's certain that they also know so much more about like the medicines in there because they never really suffer from infection. Um, he's also talking about how, how they managed to create a fire. He said to like Joe Rogan, if they both went in there with like a, a box of matches, they mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to light a fire in there. But yet these uh, group of mean, people. What do you mean they won't be able to light a fire? Because it's so wet in there. Oh. It's just not possible to keep a fire going. Okay. And he's saying, but yet you have these people here that clearly are capable of doing that. They know stuff that we don't know. And the medicines and, and the, her, uh, the herbal sort of medicine that they use we don't even know about and it's curing stuff so much quicker, so much better than what we have now. And there's so much to learn from. Yeah. So I think that top middle one, that's the, that's the anaconda that you caught. Uh, oh, it's a video. That's a bit annoying, but yeah. Um, he just does it. I mean, it's such a fascinating you watch the listen. Pod? I listen to it. Yeah. See, on, that's on my the thing, right? Look at that pod. Yeah. It's got an episode like that. We ain't, we ain't got that shit. We're talking about sniffing tents after blogs have had sex in it. Wait, what? Stop saying we. Yeah, that was you. That was you, man. Okay, but you let me say that and listened and you responded. So we, we, we're in this together. You let that happen. You know what I'm actually upset about and I really need to, we, I, I don't even want to think about it is come season five, right? We have to change set because we've made it a seasonal thing. I don't want to do that at all. I love this way. set. And I, yeah, and we don't need to. Yeah. No, we do. We will. I'm not taking part in that. Just paint you the walls. I won't. No, because I know it'll be my job to come and I'll be like, right, new idea, new set. New, new, new. I'm going to be so full of hatred that I'm only going to end up building as a fucking pit of hell or something. It's going to reflect We're gonna be hatred it. for what I have to do. We'll be living in some shithole, mate. I'm going to put us in like a fucking... Holiday Inn. Place. <laughs> no, I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to build us... We're, we... We're going to be in a hotel room. Are going like to be in Pontins. What's wrong with Pontins? Butlins? 
Pontins yeah. is like Butlins, but okay. I think even cheaper. Um, yeah, we we need to go to the depths. There's nothing better than this. There's always so better. If we bro. want to change, there is. Oh come on, man! This is really good. This is so nice and homely, and like feel like I'm at one, and we've had such great moments here. You know what I mean? Like it's cozy. We get to chill. We got fucking guys. We're gonna be doing our first live podcast, and we need you lot to dial in. Proddy, can you give See, them a time and date? First live pod on this set as well. Never done before. That's new. Well, we would have we would have already announced it by the time this comes out. But if you had missed that but, announcement, yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be Thursday. The, uh, the let me find the date. I think that's the, gonna be knackered. You know, it might be. But I thought let's give it a go because I think the um like we'll have to be so like we'll have to pull our jokes a bit not that we have any jokes anyway i don't we, think so i think it'll be okay what day is it it's Prod? thursday the 30th of um okay. of may at 6 p.m all right amazing and um let me just say there is something planned yeah see this <sighs> really concerns me when Proddy told me oh i've got something planned and look at stanley's little rat face smiling in the back there <laughs> that's the thing because he... Proddy's never planned something and i've been happy about it that's, that's the thing that's a lie i think no what, that's Proddy... th that's true I'm going to need sign off on this. No, you, you've got no sign off. Well, I ain't fucking there then. Nah, I'm there. I'm, I'm itching to see another, if he pulls out a sinker. But it's going to be live, mate. Yeah, fuck it. I just have to like smile like this. Like that time we had those boys on, we didn't know who they were. <laughs> and, and, he, is, and he just will do it. And I'm there like... Gonna be, the thing is, the way, uh, hey. the, way, the way Stanley's laughing is, it sounds like it's going to be not, like, You're not allowed to ask questions or anything. It sounds like it's yeah. going to be funny for them, but not for us. Fuck it then. We'll send it, bro. But we're in It'll the con we're in the content business. We are. Is, in the is this business. like? So are we planning to do more of these in the future? Yes. Live episodes. Yeah. If, if it, it goes, goes well, well, yes. All right. Well, let's hope they've got a good fucking surprise one. Day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, we're gonna wrap it up there. Um, we've yapped your ear off for long enough. Of course, Drop if you haven't checked out, if you have, if you haven't checked out, loaded. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up. We're like I said, we're heading off to the darts uh, tonight, so we're gonna be doing a. a Are a you darts drinking vlog. that? Uh, I'll, I'll have it. Yeah, I'll have a, a little sip. We've got Harry coming along with us as well. We have got Reeve coming along. Thank God, Harry's there. Yeah, what? Someone that you can actually speak to. Yeah, what? Because we. Oh, well, we don't. We don't talk to each other outside of the pod. So that's not even true, bro. I text you all the time. I'll be there. Yeah, uh, exactly. I'll chat to Proddy about that. Like, what, what's fucking... What, what the you, live stream surprise yeah. is going to be. All right, guys. If you haven't already, then make sure you follow us on all audio platforms. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. Uh, don't forget as well, Proddy actually has to lather himself up. Don't forget we forgot that bet. You got to sit in a mankey. If we get to one mil subs. Yes. Yeah. Just got a picture to remember what could be the last ever episode. Yep. I love that from you. Positivity that, as always. I'm going to every episode because you By never way, know. Can we just... Can we just Deep that, yeah. So I'm being punished day. for achieving a high goal. What was I the high goal? No, I think it was if you didn't hit it. What was the high goal? Oh, if I don't hit yeah. it. Yeah. We'd... All right, but I, I'm allowed to do whatever I want then in terms of like, in, I'm allowed to put whatever content I want to get achieve that goal. Well, I mean, within reason. As well, as yes, say, within yeah. reason, but things that I think will grow the channel. Yeah, well, you know, need yeah. to get it to a million subs, bro. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be here goal of a dripping subs? in grease while wearing a mankini. And no, I might even hire was, someone to it lick it off you during the end. It Like oiled up mankini, uh, oiled oh. up tanned. And yeah, fine. What's going on? I missed some. No, you were here. We made a bet with him. If he, if he gets the, if he doesn't get the channel to a million subscribers by the end of the year, he's got to lather himself up. Ooh. And sit How there. many subs is it on? Almost 700k. Yeah, you're cooked, bro. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. That'll, Anyways, be very, that'll be difficult to achieve, to be fair. If you did, then fair play. Right, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.